What is Response Surface Methodology? Beginner's Guide. What is RSM? So, Response Surface Methodology or RSM is a statistical technique that help you find optimal condition for your experiment. Instead of testing every possible combination, RSM creates a mathematical model to predict the best outcome. RSM is widely used in chemistry, engineering, and even material science, especially for optimizing battery, supercapacitor, and energy storage material. So how does RSM works? So let's do a simple breakdown. First, choose your factor and level. First, you need to select the key factor affecting your experiment. For example, if you're optimizing a supercapacitor, your factor might be voltage, temperature, and electrolyte concentration. If you are studying about the methodology, for example, microwave, your factor might be the temperature and also the position time. Okay, so the factor depends what is you going to study. Next is your second is about the design of experiment. So instead of testing all possible combination, RSM use smart experimental design like central composite design, CCD, or box backend design to run only the most important experiment. So you can see the difference between these two designs. And the third thing is analyze the surface response. So after running the experiment, RSM creates a mathematical model to predict the best combination for maximum efficiency. So these are the three important steps for you to make sure how your RSM works. So these three important steps you must do one by one. Let me recap back. Number one, identifying the factor and level. Number two, decide your designs of experiment. And number three, your surface response. What you going to see the response in your experiment. Okay, next step, let's go to the real life application. We're going to see a little bit case study. So let's say you want to improve the performance of lithium ion battery by optimizing its charge discharge cycle. For example, your factor is charge voltage, electrolyte concentration, and also temperature. Then by using RSM, we only need 15 experiments instead of 50 plus. That's why one of the key factors of RSM, you can minimize the number of experiments. After plotting the surface response, we find that the best condition for battery life are at 3.8 volt, 1 molar electrolyte and 35 degrees Celsius. This is one small example. Let me see you the example in supercapacitor. So in supercapacitor, your surface response is specific capacitance or specific capacity. Let's say we want to optimize the method and our method is hydrothermal. So by using hydrothermal, we're going to optimize the temperature and also the reaction time, how many hours you're going to make your reaction perform. So here, here is the advice. So by using the RSM, you can know actually for example, the synthesis of metal oxide, when you vary the temperature from 80 to 150, then you're going to see the optimum temperature at which temperature the material forms very well without agglomeration and so on. And we going also can test the time and what time is the best for your deposition to occur. So uh, in the case study, actually, depends on your methods depends on your material you're going to have your selected set of experiment and generally if you have two sets of independent factor the experiment generated by the rsm if you are choosing 
the central composite design, you're going to have around 11 experiments. If you have three factor, the number will increase to around 17. And if you have four independent factor, you can have 20 plus experiments. So the higher the number of factor, the higher the number of experiments that you need to run, but more correlation you can make between your independent variables and your surface response. Thank you. So as a conclusion and call to action, I want to elaborate more in this video. Now you already know a little bit about RSM and you might fall in love with the RSM and how it help optimize the experiment faster. In my next video, I will show you how to set up the RSM using the DOE Design of Expert software. And if this help gives the video the thumbs up and subscribe for this YouTube for more RSM tutorial. So I hope this video will spark your interest on the RSM. That's all. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.